So guys, in today's video, we're going to review and unbox the Pencil and Wi-Fi Digital Microscope. Uh, it's a great beginner's microscope for kids, for example, to explore microscopy. And uh, it only sits at around 30 bucks on Amazon at the moment. I'm going to link the Amazon product page down in the description so you can go there, read all the specifications and the details for yourself. Let's take a look at the box. So it comes in this rather small box, not really branded, um, gives you a few specs on the side. It records video, takes photo, gives out footage in 1080p, has eight LEDs, connects via USB. However, 1080p, it actually only has a two megapixel CMOS sensor. So the 1080p is basically an upscaled version of that and it's not fantastic footage, but it's good enough. You'll see it later on when we see the footage that the, um, the camera produced. Here are some specs text specifications. If you want to read those at your own leisure, you can pause the video and do that. Important point on the front here, it's a Wi-Fi microscope. And that is an actual cool feature. I'm going to talk about that at the very end of the video. I'm going to explore the Wi-Fi feature and show you guys how that works. So enough talk about the box. Let's open it up and see what is inside. So it comes sealed on all those four sides. And then you notice it's not actually the box, it's just a sleeve a sleeve around it and the little box inside reveals all the goodness of this microscope. It comes with a little cable that is the connector cable that allows you to charge the microscope but also hook it up to a computer in case you want to use it in a wired mode with your computer. Uh, it is not too long. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally guessing. You can see it here, maybe 40, 50 centimeters. It's not very long. So these are the so-called slides. You get 12 of them and they are literally little plastic sheets. They're not made from glass, so they're not perfectly clear, but they do a fairly good job. At, at least they're safe, right? They won't break, so it's, it's pretty safe. A butterfly wing you see here, potato starch. So 12 little examples of encapsulated little samples of all these things, sunflower pollen and here. Personally, I think you'll see some of them later on as we use the microscope. I didn't find those so great. It's better to go out and find your own items, your own items that was much more uh, engaging, I found also for the kids. So this is the little arm that supposedly holds the microscope in place. Uh, it bends and it's fairly solid. You know, you could probably put more weight on it than the microscope holds it in place rather well. And that is uh, the microscope uh, itself. I touched it for the first time when I recorded this footage, so I had no idea. The light switches on immediately, so it came charged. And um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, this wheel that you see there in the front gives you uh, the, the sharpness. The top is the button that switches on and off, and that button I'm doing here is only doing the light. It comes with a little seal in the front. And a uh, little bit of satisfying moment there, okay peeling off the seal. You can see the eight LEDs inside and actually it has a lid in front. I didn't realize it at this point. You can see the little latch there on the side. You can take it off. That opens the whole lens in the front um, and allows you to go really close to objects. This wheel you see here spins and uh, gives you the zoom. So, you know, it's basically adjusts the sharpness, how far away you are from an object. The button on top switches it on and off. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, you've got the little light switch there. And the light does not adjust very gently. You know, it's maybe, you can see it there. It's like a very, very small area of, of that button where you can actually adjust the lighting. And oh yeah, there's the button on the back which switches between Wi-Fi functionality and PC or Mac connected functionality. So that's it. It feels overall fairly weighty and high quality doesn't feel flimsy when you hold it. And I'd imagine if you carry it, let's say on a hike on a backpack, it's not going to break very easily. If you keep the lid on the front, your lens is not going to scratch. So it's, it really seems to be made for like outdoors hiking, taking it with you. It also comes with this little plate here, which to be honest, I didn't use much. You see the hole there on the right and you're going to see, oh, here we go. Oh, peeling off the feel, uh, the foil. I think people get excited about this stuff on the internet, right? Okay. So, you get the plate, attach the arm to it, you get the little screw, the tools, and you can put the micro microscope into it. I'm gonna illustrate that here. It's a really, really simple procedure. You wouldn't even really need the screwdriver or the little tool they give you in the box. Um, and then when you have the arm, you can adjust it to kind of sit above the plate, get the microscope and slot in place. And at this point you can see I'm removing the lid, I believe. Am I removing the lid? 
I don't know, I've edited this like last week. Yes, I'm removing the lid. <laughs> there it is. And you can you can attach the microphone. It really clips well in place. Um, however, I found it distracting at times. The white underground, it's very reflective. So when you blast those eight LEDs that are in there right on an object that sits on the reflective white underground, you see there, maybe we'll see that later in the footage. It sometimes can look not great. Then it's better to just use like a little either piece of paper or like a black piece of cloth or something to put underneath. So then we went out and we explored in the garden and found all kinds of curious objects, including moon rock right there. Might be might be concrete, but it might be moon rock. And you can see my little son here operating the microscope all by himself. He is five years old, so that should roughly give you an idea. I don't think when he was four, he would have been able to do it the way he does it now. But you can see, uh, you know, you just have to adjust the microscope um, to be really, really close to the object, nearly move it into the lens, and then you have to spin the little wheel on top, the, the big silver wheel, and you can adjust the sharpness. This is then the concrete you saw earlier. So this is actually obviously the footage recorded with this microscope um, at full resolution. There's no compression going on, so that's the footage you get. It's great to explore your own skin. You see it here. You're going to see all the little uneven you know aspects of, of your skin and see that it's not not smooth at all and the results are okay they are not great but they are okay and they're good enough for kids to have fun with uh, you can like i said record all the footage you can take screenshots of anything like this for example is a screenshot i took which looks quite cool it, it i mean it looks like a planet or something so it's definitely a cool thing to have around it sits in the small box whenever you need it uh, you can take it out Whenever you're out, outdoors somewhere, you find a cool object, you bring it home. I had it several times that my son is like, oh, we should take this home to put it under the microscope. Uh, so so kids love it, and it, it really is done in a way that it's simple enough for them to nearly use it on their own. I mean, I'm still sitting next to him, but he's kind of doing all the work by himself. Uh, so that looks like a octopus or a squid or something. I think that was just a shell, right? It's just a shell. So, so really fascinating to dive into these kind of worlds uh, within microscopy and really great to raise the kid's curiosity. Uh, some more footage here, actual footage taken with the microscope. And uh, you can see here, this is some moss we found and we didn't expect to be someone living in that moss, but there he is. It's a little bug. My son uh, gave him the name Mr. Yucky Bug and he crawled out as I was filming this and there he is again zoomed in all the way uh don't worry no bugs were harmed in in the making of this video he escaped afterwards but the thing about this bug is he's extremely small i think if look at this this is the finger of my son and you see the size of this bug like he is literally maybe three millimeters four millimeters in length and you've seen the footage before it is good footage you know so if you are into i don't know collecting butterflies or just exploring nature and insects then this is really, really great. You know, this is such a great tool. And now we're going to look at the, what is this, potato starch? I think it is. So these are the results you get with these uh, so-called slides uh, that they give you. The locust wing is another one. The results are okay, but they are not exactly great. Again, I found like seashells and, you know, snail shells and all these kind of things you find in the garden. Even some stones and dirt are more interesting than uh, you know these even insects you know you find a dead fly somewhere put that under there you're going to have a great time and the kids definitely love it now let's i think now we're looking at the wi-fi function if i'm not mistaken so you switch it off by holding the button on top you remove the cable disconnected from the pc and you switch the little button to wi-fi and uh if you have done that, you do not need a Wi-Fi hotspot in the sense that you need a Wi-Fi router in your home. All you have to do is bring up your phone, activate your Wi-Fi, and the microscope will pop up as, as an item, basically, as a Wi-Fi spot. So you connect to that fairly easy. Uh, so you can't be online with the Wi-Fi and connect it at the same time. They give you a software, and boom, you log in. You're basically seeing live footage from your camera. There's no router needed. Uh, all you need is your phone and this microscope. You can see I'm holding it in my hand here. Take it with you on a hike. Take it on the outdoors. And you can do this anywhere. Record footage, you know, explore objects on the go. 
Uh, there is a USB only version of this microscope available. It costs about, I think, five, six bucks less. Uh, but I think that's absolutely worth it. Like if you're into this kind of stuff and you do like hiking and walking around and you have kids, you know, get the Wi-Fi version. It works reliably, it, it's smooth, it's great. You know, you can do all the things that you could do on PC, record video, sh shoot photos, you know, all the things, change the settings. There are not many settings that you can change, actually, which is, I mean, not, not great, but it's enough. It's enough for you to have fun with. And uh, I would definitely recommend this product for you to explore and to have fun with. If you have any questions about this product, then leave those down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to answer them. I've been playing around with this for quite a while now. So I hope that this review helped you. If you are thinking about purchasing uh, this microscope and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below please leave a like normally i do more video game content stuff you can follow my channel subscribe to it i'll love to see you at a live stream or something that would be amazing guys take care thanks for watching and i'll see you next time i'm out bye